Hey creators, in a previous video, I shared a workflow that blends this woman into a new beach background. Here's what the final result looks like. The face, the t-shirt, and the background style all stay consistent. This is thanks to the Redux model. However, the woman's pose and the composition changed quite a bit. Now, with a new version of the Union Control Net model, Things get even better because we can also keep her pose and the composition consistent. So I've put together a new workflow to show you how it works. I talked about this new ContraNet model in my last video. So let's jump right into this new workflow. This workflow, just like the other one, lets you blend a person into a new background. But this time, I've added a little twist by starting with a portrait. First, I remove the woman from the portrait, which leaves us with just the background. Then, I take the portrait of the woman and remove its original background. I also get rid of that Ron Oldman using the Graveview Bridge node. After that, I position the woman onto the new background. The cool part is that now you can upload the portrait and use its background. Before, you could only upload the background image that didn't have any people in it. Let's take a look at this example. Okay, so this is the same workflow. But in this case, I uploaded a background image that didn't have anyone in it. At the end of the first node group, I blended the woman into the background. Notice that I didn't use this image as the background. Instead, I directly imported the uploaded background image, resized it, and plugged it into the background image part of the image blend node. Of course, this is just the first pass, and the lighting and shadows on the woman and the background don't quite match up yet. See that long shadow from the surfboard? Normally, we'd expect to see the woman's shadow too, but it's not there. All right, let's check out the final output image for this one. Now you can see the woman is blended much more naturally into the new background. You can even see the shadows now. Now, let's go back to the previous example with a portrait and dive a bit deeper into that workflow. Here's the initial blend. It's just about placing the woman into the background. You can see there are a few issues. She kind of looks pasted onto the background. This area here looks a bit like part of the tree, but the details don't look quite right because it was generated by the llama remover. Also, the woman's body doesn't really interact with the surrounding area in a natural way. So in the fourth group, I repainted the image. The woman's pose in this repainted version is closer to the original and the composition is more similar too. Thanks to the Union ControlNet 2.0 model. I've already introduced this model in my last video, so check out the link in the description if you want more info. The style and the details are also more consistent because I use the Redux model, and things like her hairstyle and her face also stay pretty close to the original because I've also connected the pool ID. If you still think the image looks a little unnatural at this point, you can also try increasing the denoising strength in the case sampler. Okay, so we've got a pretty good result here, but if we are being really picky, we can still spot a few things that aren't perfect. For example, the details on the ring on a woman's hand could be cleaner, and the likeness of her face to the original could be better. So to fix these details, I used three more node groups. Here's the final output. Now the woman's face looks much more like the original, and the hand details are much sharper. Let's compare it with the output from the first node group. You can really see how much more naturally the woman is blended into the background now. I'm not going to go into details about these last three node groups in this video because I already explained them pretty thoroughly in a previous video where I showed a similar workflow for blending a person into a background. I'll put a link to that video below. So feel free to check it out if you are interested. I really hope you find this workflow useful and interesting. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.